So what made you want to be a part of MODIS? I felt that the part in MODIS uh, to play the president of the United States was, uh, was really a great opportunity. Um, I've really been fortunate to witness a lot of politicians, women and men, um, vying for whatever position, uh, whether it's local politics or the president of the United States. So um, I really was, uh, felt that it could be an interesting job to take on, also an interesting story. I wanted my president to be strong but also vulnerable. If you were president of the United States for a day, what would you do? Well, the first thing I would do would be equal rights amendment, equal rights for women, equal pay for women. That would be, I would say, one of the number one things that would be closest to me. And uh, change, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not a capitalist. I've spent a lot of my life in a capitalist country, but I was, I was born in England and I was bred in Canada, which are both socialist country. Uh, I think it's uh, rights and then healthcare. That would be, that's what I so love about Sweden is that there's this feeling that you are giving to each other, not just to your family, not just to yourself. And I think that that's very difficult to maintain in a capitalist system where everyone is out for themselves. So, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's still, I think, a difficult time for America. Um, underneath the surface, you can tell now, um, with the last election, all of these, all of these maladies have come forward uh, and I think they're trying times. I think it's very stressful now to think about what's happening on any given day, never mind the future. Mm -hmm. So um, I didn't want my president to be that chaotic. I mean she's been in training her whole life for this. You know her, her life is about public service, not about self-service. The audience are used to seeing playing a strong independent woman as Samantha Jones of course. Uh, is that the kind of character you, you love playing, like the, the strong female characters? I enjoy playing different kinds of characters. Uh, the fact that some of them have been strong, I think, uh, is due mostly to being brought up by very strong women myself. Uh, but I like to play women who are also confused and unsure of themselves. I recently uh, produced and starred in a series called Sensitive Skin, which is about a woman in her 50s, in her late 50s, who is suddenly, you know, uh, her son's gone off and has his own life, and uh, she's got a sort of a part-time job, and she's getting back into the workforce, but she's also going through menopause, and she's wondering, where is my life going to go for the next 30 years? Is this the person that I want to spend? the rest of my life with. You know, the, this period of time is so unchartered, especially in any kind of form of entertainment way. Yeah, because I know you talked a lot about uh, not thinking that you would get certain parts or certain roles getting older. Uh, how do you feel about that now in life? Uh, I think it's a fact. You know, the older we get, the fewer roles there are, specifically for women in my business. So um, that, you know, I can complain about that and bitch about it, and I do, uh, especially with my girlfriends. But um, in life, that's why I became a producer. That's why I started to work outside of the United States, outside of my comfort zone, and play all kinds of characters to give voice to different kinds of women. I'm sure that you're very tired about the Sex and City questions, but I just want to know that the show ended in 2004, and people are still watching it. People are still inspired by it. Uh, younger generations are watching the show. What does that make you feel like to be such a huge inspiration still? Oh, that's so great. Thank you. Um, I think it's inspiring. I think that it's now set me on a real track towards continuing, like Sex in the City did, to continue to be a pioneer for women. It's very addictive. It's like virgin territory. And you can feel when it's happening. I felt it on Sex in the City. I felt it about sensitive skin, that we were really addressing an audience that had been ignored for so long. And I feel that it's almost, it's in a time capsule. It, it was a zeitgeist for then. But there are so many more barriers to break down. There's so many more characters to play. And at 61, I'm looking at time also in a different way. I've only got so much time. So I've got a lot to do. And that's why saying yes to something like Modus, I, I wouldn't put it off.
Would you ever consider playing Samantha Jones again? No, I think that chapter is closed for me. And I feel so good about it because I feel that we we really went so far. And um, I think there's there was a time when we stopped making the series and I felt, oh, wow. But now um, I feel that it was of its time and it did its work and it lives in a very fresh, real state in real time in DVD. It's well documented. So I have no regrets and I'm really looking forward to what the future brings.